So what we have is the uh, HTC Vive. These are the controllers. Uh, these are, this is the headset that you would wear when you're playing in uh, virtual reality. Um, so again, these controllers and the headset are both talking to these cameras that are in opposite corners of the room. Therefore, uh, this is the only system that does what we call room scale VR. It can monitor your movements if you're ducking or jumping or anything else. Um, you know, all that is reflected in the game. Uh, these controllers are simple but versatile. There's a secret little button on the side. A lot of times if you're trying to squeeze something or reload a gun, you press this little button. Um, obviously, if you're trying to fire things, I always tell customers this trigger here on the back um, is used for that and or sometimes you use this trigger like you're grabbing something. So when you pull the trigger, I tell customers to think about it's like grabbing something with your hand. Um, and then we have a more versatile button, this sort of trackpad in the middle and this allows people to sort of make different selections in the game, um, you know, different ammo types or any number of things. This is what will allow you to sort of fly and choose where you're going to fly if you're playing something like Google Earth. Um, and then there's a couple other system buttons, small things that help you navigate the library inside the game. Orange border in which you're standing is called the play area. The boundaries of your play area were defined during setup and VR experiences will take place within them. With that out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone bounds. Walk toward me, uh, slowly, please. And stop. Good. The colored fence around you represents your chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you or your controllers approach the edge of your physical space and will help you to avoid bumping into objects in the real world. Lastly, take a small step back, just until the chaperone bounds disappear. Perfect. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. Go ahead, move them around. Wave them in front of your face. They are accurately tracked to your movements. Let's go through each of the controller buttons. On the underside of the controller is a trigger button. Give that a squeeze. Oh my! Just turn that off for the moment. 